Hi everybody, in this video we are going to demonstrate another cool filter, the Fung Bump Map. A Fung Bump Map filter assumes the layer is either a bump map or normal map and then simulates a light shining on it. So what is a bump map and a normal map? Bump map converts a typically grayscale image into a height map. The lightest areas correspond to the lowest parts, while the darkest area correspond to the highest parts. When a light is shone upon it, the slope of the bump map catches the light. A normal map, on the other hand, encodes the slope directly. The red, green and blue values are used to define a direction for every pixel on the canvas. This direction corresponds to the normal of the slope at each point. But I won't bore you with technical details if you are interested in learning about bump maps and normal maps. This website explains it quite well. For now, we will limit ourselves to bump maps. So, let's start with a white layer. Remember that transparency is ignored and won't influence how light or dark the pixels are. So, transparency will have no effect on the bump map. So, we don't draw on a transparent layer because that would cause different results. As we know, we can draw bumps onto this canvas. The darkest part will correspond to the tops of the bumps. So I will just draw something like this using an airbrush. Now we shine a light on it using the filter. We can see the material properties like shininess, etc. over here. If you want to learn more about how different materials interact with different types of lighting, then you can look at my appendix in my section on coloring. And we can set the light properties over here. We can shine up to four lights, but they must be distant lights. We don't have the option to add point lights, for example. We can set the color of each light. We can also set the angles of the light source. Inclination is the angle above the what I call horizon. So when it's 90 degrees, it's straight ahead and the light is shining straight down onto the layer. While at zero degrees, it's like a sunset. The light is coming in from the, one of the sides of the layer. The azimuth determines the angle at which the light comes in, either from the top bottom or one of the sides. And that's it. Congratulations! Now you are more or less proficient in using filters. As mentioned, we haven't covered each filter in detail, but I think we've got the gist of it. We will be covering some more filters in the remainder of this section, but not all of them. Remember, it's not necessary to know all the filters. I don't even know all the filters myself. But the more the merrier is what I always say, so every filter you know is one more tool in your tool belt. So if you are interested in learning more filters, please do. You can find a lot of information online and just by messing about with them. As for the remainder of this course though, we will be moving on to the next topic, namely special layers. See you soon. Bye bye.